Hi, in this video, you're going to learn how to use the lasso tool to take a photo out of its original image. Now, what I mean by that is you're actually taking the person, whatever image they could be talking to another person, and they could be standing in the back of a store. Now, let's say, for example, you want to take that specific person out of that image and put it into your image. That is what I'm going to show you how to do today. So let's say, for example, I'm looking at this image. It's a royalty free image. And as you can see, they're standing in a background. So, for example, you might look at this and think, OK, well, all of these people are from the same image. That may or may not be true. If I use the lasso tool to crop specific people out of different images, I could put them into this image so it looks like they're part of that image as a whole. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to show you how to use the lasso tool, which is this tool as you can see. If you start out looking like this, you can click on it, hold it, and you'll find the lasso tool. In this specific video, I'm just going to use this tool and I'll be just cutting the images out. So the first thing I want to do is I want to find a picture that I want to use a lasso tool on. So right now I'm looking at a bunch of big stock photo pictures, as you can see here. I'm going to stick with these two images here, this one and this one. This one might be a little harder to do. This one might be a little easier just because the background is already white. Now, here's the thing that I like to do. To speed up the process of opening the image, I like to simply drag and drop it into Adobe Photoshop. No need to go to File, Open, Finding all the folders and all that. This wastes a little five minutes here and there. So, simply drag and drop, and I'll take this image here, drag it and drop it into Adobe Photoshop. So right now we have access to two images, a doctor and it looks like a bacteria. So to get started, I'm going to first start with the doctor. So I'm going to minimize this and I'll maximize this and zoom in. To zoom in, I'm pressing on the control key in space and I'll do it twice so I can zoom in so you can get a better view of it. What I'm going to do is basically cut out this area so that this is a white area. So it makes it easier for me when I actually take this lady out and put her on the header. And you don't need to be perfect. In this video, I'm purposely not going to be perfect. Just so, to show you that if you're not perfect, it's OK. So if you're starting out not knowing anything and you're just a newbie, it's OK. Because I'll use this tool to make it look nice later on. But we'll start by trying to extract this person. So basically you want to use a lasso tool. It doesn't even have to be close. And I'll crop this area. So I'll drag it around the border and then around her head. And that's it. Once I've done that, I'm going to cut this piece out so it's white. I'll cut it and you'll notice that it's turned white. Let me fast forward a little bit and I will go ahead and do the same for this side. And then I'll cut it. Do the same thing as for this bottom area. Okay, great. I've used the lasso tool and done the best I could to make the background white. But as you can see here, I've got some areas around her head and around her white coat that I need to remove. So I'm going to choose this paint brush feature here. That. So right now I'm going to choose the paint brush feature as you can see here. Make sure that it's white and I'll change the brush size to have a bigger diameter. And I'll keep it at that. Click out of it. 
And then what I'll do is I'll zoom in. And I'll remove that area as you can see here. As you can see, it's actually easier to do here. So I'll fast forward a little bit as you can see. And remember the history tool, if you ever make a mistake, let's say for example, I'm cleaning it and I'm like, oops, oh, oops, oh no. And then if that's the case and you do another one, oh, oops, another one, oops, I messed up her face. If that's the case, you can use the history tool to go back. And there we go. So now what we want to do is center align her. So we want to crop anything out of it that doesn't look right. So I'll use this marquee tool. And I'll perhaps crop her up a little bit. Cut up, cut off that part. Click on image and then crop. And then there we go. So now we have a ready image that we can use when we create the header in the future videos. So if you'll notice here, I have this tool. I can pretty much grab her out of it. And I'm going to do the same thing to this image. Zoom in a bit. And I like to use this tool. It's a magic wand tool. It allows you to choose, especially if you're looking at a dark background. It makes things easier. And then, of course, we want to clean it up on that part, so. And I'll fast forward a little bit. So after about three to four minutes, I've actually uh, used the lasso tool, used a paintbrush to make it all white in the background. So now, all I have to do is use this magic wand tool, click on inverse, and I can actually grab this photo out of and put it anywhere I want to. So now you know how to use the lasso tool. When we create our headers, e-covers, and things like that, it's going to actually be faster because we've already done the work ahead of time.